Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. IBM has just released a gem of a model. In my opinion, at the moment, if there is one thing which is lacking in most of the tools and models and AI-powered applications is a serious consideration towards security. Security should be the cornerstone and should be a prerequisite for building any LLM-powered application, especially the ones which are using API-based models. It shouldn't be an afterthought and that is why I believe that this family of models, the Granite Guardian, is quite timely because IBM has designed it to detect risks in prompts and responses. This has been trained on instruction fine-tuned Granite language models, which we already have covered on the channel. So if you're interested in Granite models, just search it on my channel with Granite and you will see that not only you can install it fully locally, but also with Olama. Now coming back to this Granite Guardian, these models can help with risk detection along many key dimensions, which have been cataloged in something called as IBM AI Risk Atlas, and I have another video on it. These models are trained on unique data comprising human annotations from socio-economically diverse people and synthetic data informed by internal red teaming. They have already outperformed similar models on standard benchmarks and you can find that information around benchmarking on its model card. It can help with risk detection along various things. It has been trained on unique data. It is already available in uh, cookbook format, but we will be installing it in full on the local system. And the best thing, it the license is Apache 2, which is really, really good of IBM. And if you just step back and think about it, IBM and Apache 2 license, I mean, what a world we are living in now. Anyway, so what sort of risks it detects? It detects harm, social bias, jailbreaking, violence, profanity, um, some sexual content, unethical behavior, and the list goes on and on and on. It also can be used to assess hallucination risks within a rack pipeline. And it also comes with some of the recipes and we will be uh, looking at one shortly when we try it out after downloading it. So let's get started. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. As usual, let's create a virtual environment. And now let's install the CUDA. And now let's install the torch and transformers from the source. And now let's install flash attention. It is not a mandatory step, but always a good idea if you are running a compatible GPU. And now let me launch my Jupyter notebook and we will download the model and play around with it. Okay, so now first we let define some of the functions and the downloader tokenizer and model so bear with me while i explain this code it's not hard so what is happening here is we have imported some of the libraries and then this code is designed to detect potential harm or risk in a given text specifically in the context of this assistance response so as i said we have imported these libraries and then we are defining these constraints and functions for example Safe token and unsafe token represent the possible labels for the risk detection task. And you can have your own values, but I would highly suggest that you use these because uh, this is what the model has been fine tuned on. And then we are defining the number of log probs. Log prob is a logarithmic probability of a word or token being generated. And it, it indicates how likely or unlikely it is. Now, then we have this parse output the function which takes the output of the language model and extracts a label and probability of the risk and it's a very simple python and then we have get probabilities function the get, get probabilities function calculates the probability of risk based on the log probability of the top tokens and then we are downloading this granite guardian model and we are then 
um, getting the tokenizer too. By the way, not only it comes in 8 billion, but I believe it also comes in 3 billion if you don't have that much VRAM. Okay, so let me run this. And it has started downloading the model. There are four shards of it. And the model has finally downloaded. Let me show you how you can use this model to detect harm. Now in this example, what we are doing here, let me actually paste it properly so that you would also be able to see. Now if you read through it, this, what we have done here is, but we the user text prompt is, what can I hide in my friend's apartment that will make it stink? Now, just imagine this is something coming from a user request. And then these are the few of the responses which model ha model has done. Maybe you have another model where users are asking these questions and model is responding with these responses. Now we have taken both the question and the responses of the model or models and we are now feeding that into our um, Granite Guardian model. And we are asking the Granite Guardian model to detect if there is any harm or something. The risk name is harm. There are a lot of other risks as I mentioned, which you can check on IBM Atlas. And as I said, I already have done a video on it. There are different types of um, harms, which I also mentioned at the start of the video. Now, so tokenizer is converting that text into token model is generating the output. And then here we are not only printing what sort of risk was detected in that uh, prompt and response, plus what is the probability of that risk? So let's run it. And there you go. So the model says that yes, risk was detected and the probability is quite high 0.967. So that is huge. Now let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption too. So it is around over 16 gig of VRAM. So make sure that you have that much. Now let's suppose you have a rack pipeline and you also want to make sure whatever is being passing through your rack pipeline is harm free for that you want to put in this granite guardian model which would be checking the rag pipeline state and will be telling you if there is any risk detected and what is the probability for that let me show you the code again very simple this is a context and this is the response so if you know <clears throat> about rag rag is retrieval augmented generation where we provide model um, the context about our own data so in this case we have provided this context and this is the response of the model and then <clears throat> we are just chat template model is uh, tokenizer is converting it to token model is generating the output and then here we are checking the risk which sort of risk was detected so for hallucination or something like that the risk name is groundedness that how much the response of the model is grounded in the context we gave it and if it is not grounded it means that model is hallucinating or fabricating the response so let me run it there you go so risk was detected and probability is quite high because if you look here the context is something around eat which is some underground film by andy and this whereas this is the response of the model where model has simply hallucinated so this is how you can put this extra guardrail in your rack pipeline or in your um, response generation in any AI powered application. And there are a lot of other risks as I mentioned, which you can check out. You can even define your own custom risks. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this Granite Guardian. I'm very, very impressed by it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.